What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Iowa Speedway NASCAR Cup Series. First time here in Iowa. Now, the Iowa Speedway is located in Newton, Iowa, and it is the 17th stop on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. Now, the Iowa Speedway is a 7th, 8th of a mile oval track, and it opened in 2006, and it has hosted NASCAR and IndyCar Series events. Now, NASCAR has owned this track, though, since 2019. The NASCAR Cup Series and the NASCAR Xfinity Series will be running their races this weekend. Now, the Craftsman Truck Series is off again. They'll be off next week, and they'll return with everybody for the Ally 400 weekend in Nashville at the Nashville Super Speedway. Now, NASCAR Xfinity Series will run on Saturday, the High V Perks 250 with a 250 laps, 250 miles. Now, the NASCAR Cup Series will run under the lights on Father's Day, the Iowa Corn 350 powered by ethanol. Now, 250 laps, 250 miles for that track. Now, this track is a little different since the last time the NASCAR Xfinity Series was here. Iowa Speedway has gone through a major repave. And when I say major repave, not so much. Only half of a little bit of the track has been repaved. Yes, so these, these races should be very interesting to watch. Could it be a single groove track? The bumps in the track, uh, how is this going to react to the tires? We'll see what happens. Now, all four turns have not had a repave since 2006, mainly from the hard winters uh, here in Iowa have really caused some damage to that pavement. Now, the Goodyear test was on May 28th. Some of your notable NASCAR Cup Series drivers, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, uh, both were part of the test. There was a couple others as well. But uh, they'll be using the same tire combo in Sono like Sonoma last week. So it should be interesting. But the surface of this track will be a huge, huge question mark for all the teams. So now let's get to the paint schemes. Here are the NASCAR Cup Series paint scheme and the NASCAR Xfinity paint scheme. And uh, when we come back, I'll let you know who my favorite paint scheme is. And I'll recap Sonoma, a lot of great racing last weekend. And also, we'll give you my picks on who is going to win this week. So here's the paint schemes. Let's check them out. <laughs>
right. I hope you enjoy those paint schemes like every week. It's good to see what car is going to run what. But uh, here's my favorite picks for the NASCAR Xfinity Series. I'm going to go with the 97, a popular driver in the last couple weeks for a lot of reasons. But uh, the, the Kubota Chevy SVG, is that a new sponsor? Looks like it. I don't remember him running that type of car all year. So congrats, SVG. Back-to-back -back wins. Could he win on an oval here? This would be impressive if he could win three in a row. Now, for the NASCAR Cup Series, you got to go the 45 Tyler Reddick McDonald's Hamburglar Toyota. That looks pretty cool with the black and white stripes. That's awesome. So I like that one. Okay, so let's get a recap of the races last week. NASCAR Xfinity Series. Now, SVG started on the pole. Everybody was excited. We had friends from Australia and New Zealand watching. And uh, he won the very first stage. Looked pretty dominant. Ty Gibbs took the lead and won the second stage. Now, after a huge crash, Gibbs was taken out with some other notable drivers. But SVG set his sights to the front. It came down to another restart with Austin Hill, SVG, side by side. And SVG finally gets the revenge that was needed after Coda, I believe, where he, him and Austin Hill got into it. And Kyle Larson took the lead. But... Uh, and he wins the second straight race, definitely in the playoffs now. SVG dominating here in the Xfinity race. And he's doing pretty well, too, on the ovals. Not, not a victory yet, but doing top 10s, top 20s, so he's doing a good job. So Now, the NASCAR Cup Series, the Toyota Save Mart 350, started with Joey Logano on the pole with the fresh paved track. Everybody's times were fast. Even in qualifying practice, we're setting Michael McDowell set a new track record. Um, and the qualifying, my boy Denny blew up on the second lap. A lot of people were happy about that one, but uh, and his day was done early. Now, Tyler Reddick won the first stage. Chris Buescher won the second stage uh, after everyone pit trying to get up on the uh, second stage there. So Chris Buescher won that one. Now, after the leaders pit, some drivers were off uh, sequences. This put Chris Buescher in the lead there at the end. Uh, Martin Truex Jr. was trying to chase him down. He just didn't have enough to get around him. But the problem was that Kyle Larson was on the freshest tires of anybody. I didn't think Kyle Larson was going to catch him, but sure enough, he did. He passed Martin Truex Jr. He passed Chris Buescher. And uh, Buescher went back, and then he ended up finishing later in the, back in the race. Uh, but bad news, Truex was looking for a top five finish, top two. Going into turn 12, and he ran out of gas, and he coasted across 27th place across the start-finish line. Uh, bad, bad, bad luck there for Truex, but uh, he made it there, and the crowd was going wild when he passed. The, uh, so congratulations, Kyle Larson, for winning, uh, coming back from the indie stuff and all that stuff, and now he finally gets a victory, Kyle Larson, with the win. So. Great races last weekend. Now, so here are my picks to win this week. The NASCAR Xfinity Series, uh, the High V Parks 250. Cole Custer is the points leader. Could he get a win here? Maybe. Al Geyer? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Could the Dinger get a win? We'll see. Uh, but uh, could SVG get three in a row? I think Chandler Smith wins here. Uh, he won in Richmond, kind of a style of this track, but not really. But I think Chandler Smith wins this race and uh, gets the victory. I'm going with Chandler Smith for the win. Now, NASCAR Cup Series, the Iowa Corn 350 on Father's Day under the lights. It should be awesome. And on inaugural races, my boy Denny likes stuff like this. So I'm going Denny Hamlin. Uh, he finished last week, last place, DNF'd. You know he wants to make a big comeback here. I think he rebounds and gets the win. Denny Hamlin, I'm going with Denny Hamlin for the win here in Iowa. So, All right, so here is our schedule for this week. Friday, tonight, uh, this afternoon, practice. If you're watching this, we're going to have practice for the NASCAR Cup Series for their first time practicing at the Iowa Speedway. And then Saturday, we're going to have NASCAR Cup Series qualifying. And then after that, we're going to have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race. And then that should be interesting. See how that goes. And then Sunday, the NASCAR Cup Series race. 
on Father's Day under the lights should be fun. So I'm looking forward to a great weekend with you guys again. Last weekend was great. We had lots of subscribers, went over 14,000 subscribers. No Denny this weekend. Got the, the 14 hat, 14 on me. So in honor to the 14,000 subscribers. But uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have an amazing community of NASCAR fans and we want you to be here with us for the rest of the way. So make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You guys know when the races are, you know what races they are, you know what kind of paint schemes are on the cars, you know what time we're doing them. And all you gotta do now is look for those notifications that go up when we go live. So if you see a stream up, make sure you hit a like button for us and we're ready for this weekend in Iowa at the Iowa Speedway. Let's go!